Hey guys, Haley here, and uh, today I will be doing a pretty popular video I've seen um, some other figure YouTubers do, which is to talk about all of the figures that I have pre-ordered uh, for 2021. So come with me on a journey, we'll see how much money I've committed to buy pieces of weed plastic. So let's start with January. Uh, I have a couple of figures that were supposed to come out in December, but like most of the figures are just getting delayed. So even though they've now been pushed to January, I don't even know if I'll be getting them. First up, we have Ms. Kobayashi's Dragon Maid Kana figure, the finest kimono version. This is a 1th 7th scale figure by Furyu. I'm very excited for this. I think she looks so cute. I love the design on her kimono. I'm a little bit worried about Furyu's ability to deliver this. And I think she's going to be a lot smaller than I'm expecting because Kana is a very tiny character. So I think she'll not feel like a 1 7 She'll definitely feel like a 1 8. Next up, we have the AKA re 2 1 7 complete figure. Um, this is by Magic Mold, and it's pretty expensive, and this figure is a huge gamble for me. The only reason I took the gamble is because it is based on an illustration by probably my favorite artist, Neko. Uh, I love the design of this figure, and I really hope they pull it off, but I don't hear much about Magic Mold, and it's a very expensive punt, so we'll see how it goes. Next up in January, I have Muse Dash Rin Bunny Girl version. This is a 1 8 scale figure, and this is by Apex. I am very excited for this. Muse Dash is such a fun, unexpectedly fun rhythm game, and this design is so cute. The little, the, the little love heart, the little red swoosh. Mmm, can't wait to get that. Another bunny figure in January. This is Chio from the Elder like sister, the elder sister like one. This is the unnameable bunny version 1 6 figure by Mags Factory. This is gonna be so good. The pictures look amazing, and I'm sure Mags Factory will deliver. My only, I feel like it's gonna get delayed though, but we will see. Okay, February. So I have two figures in February. Uh, one of them is the Fate Apocrypha Jean d'Arc and Astolfo Type Moon Racing 1 7th Complete Figure by Plus One. And she's a pricey one. This is 27 and 800 yen. That's like 350 Australian dollars, and that is so expensive. I mean, yeah, you could say it's two figures, but it, it's still a splurge. I, I love Type Moon Racing figures. I love my previous Type Moon Racing figures, and I thought. It was worth the price then, um, and I think this one looks really nice as well. Also, February is my birthday month, so it's like a, a treat. Also in February, I have the Nier Automata 2B Nendoroid. I was so excited when I saw that they're making a 2B Nendoroid, and I instantly pre-ordered. The first quarter scale of 2021 will be the Madoka Kaname B-Style Rabbit Ears version quarter scale by freeing um this is a beautiful figure i didn't pre-order it when it first got announced i kind of waited a few months and to make sure i really wanted it um and then i pre-ordered her and i i honestly can't wait she's beautiful i love the design i love her shoes actually damn anyway can't wait and yes it's very expensive then secondly i have the radio ava ray 1 7th version by Hobby Max Japan. I got this to go with the Asuka 1 7th version. I'm still on the fence about whether I screwed up by pre ordering the grayscale version as opposed to the colorful version, but maybe we'll see when I get them in person. I'll know whether I screwed up or not. Okay, moving on to April. The first one we have is a Card Captor Sakura figure. This is the Clear Card Rocket Beat version 1 7th complete figure by Wings, and I got this one because I cancelled my Hello Brave New World pre-order because the figure was a little too 
big and tall and kind of statue-like and too expensive and I thought this one is a good compromise. It's smaller um, and I really like the roses and all the red colouring in it. I just don't really want to buy really big figures that take up a lot of space because I don't have the shelf space to put such a massive statue figure so I opted for this one. Also in April we have the Good Smile Racing and Type Moon Racing Ultria Pendragon Racing version figure. I am so excited for all of these. I love Type Moon, I love racing figures. Done deal. And also in April another very expensive figure is the Chica bunny figure, uh, B-style bunny by Freeing, so this is from Kaguya Summer, and I'm very excited for her. I, uh, I also went back and forth, I wasn't sure whether to get this bunny either, and I kind of gave myself two or three months to think about it, and I decided I did want her, so I pre-ordered her. <laughs> okay, moving on to May, I have two Danganronpa figures, I'm so excited for these. These are the Kyoko and uh, Chiaki Fat Company figures and they're both 1-8 scale. And these figures are so awesome. They're so elaborate, the bases are so cool. And I, I think they're a great price for all the detail you're getting. These are re-releases and I definitely didn't want to miss out so I ordered both of them. Also in May, I have the Fate Grand Order Skathaha Heroic Spirit Formal Dress 1 7th figure by Quez Q. I pretty much have all of the other Heroic Spirit Formal Dress scales, if not bought, pre ordered. Um, and this one was the most expensive, I think, because Quez Q figures are a little bit more pricey, but she looks stunning. Can't wait for her. And I just rolled Skathaha as my guaranteed 5 star servant, so I'm very chuffed. Okay, June. June is a fat month. First thing we have is the Fate Stay Night 15th Celebration Project, and I ordered the Saber, the Rin, and the Sakura. And I am so excited for these. They look beautiful. I originally just really wanted the Rin, um, and then I, I upsold myself on the entire set, so very excited. Also in June, I have Idol Cthulhu-chan 1 7th figure from Bengrog. This is a bit of a pun, I've never heard of this company, but I just think the design is so cute. I love her tentacle hair, so I'm excited for that too. And lastly, I have the Fate Grand Auto Rider Ultria Pendragon 1 7th Complete figure by Alma Cooney. She looks so badass. The dress, the jacket, it's so cool. I'm very excited. Also in June um, is the Mythios Miku figure, which is beautiful. Um, I ordered mine from an Australian store, so I'm not sure when I'll be getting it, but. I'm very excited. I knew it was very hyped. Everyone was freaking out about it, and rightly so. It looks beautiful. In July, so it's July for me, but this figure actually comes out in April, but the store I ordered it from don't get their stock until really late. But this is the Megumi Kato first meeting outfit version by Good Smart Company, and this figure is so beautiful. Ah, oh, it's so stunning. The base, the flowers, it's so creative, it's so beautiful. It's so expensive too, but I think it's worth it. Jumping over to August, we have another bunny figure. This is the B-Style 10X 1 4th scale complete figure by Freeing. Um, this is an original character. And I think she looks so cool. I just couldn't, I couldn't say no. Um, I love this aesthetic, but very, very expensive. Too expensive. But the hat, like her hat is so cool. Her, uh, well. Uh, these are actually the last two pre-orders I have for 2021. I do have uh, a couple of FGO figures for 2022 that I pre-ordered, so we'll probably make another video for that. But our last month is September and we have two figures. The first one is 
Good Smile Racing and Topoon Racing Nero Racing version 1 7th figure. Of course I have to get her to complete the set um, and I also have the Jean one pre-ordered from the Good Smile store. Alright, so those are the figures that I have pre-ordered. Um, quite an extensive bunch, uh, quite an expensive bunch, but I'm very excited to getting all of them. Yeah, but anyway, thanks for watching, um, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!